Welcome, folks, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I am so pleased to have my friend Robert Norman with me. Robert is a wedding photographer, and he is going to be speaking at Inspire Photo Retreats, which is coming up in February. And one of the reasons I wanted to have him on my show is to be able to talk about his presentation. Now, uh, he's not just any ordinary photographer. He's really involved in all kinds of neat little projects. And one of the projects happens to be something called the encaustic process. And I don't know anything about the encaustic process. So I said, Robert, got to come on the show and tell us all about it. Uh, he's going to be teaching this process at Inspire. And it's really amazing. I mean, uh, all, to be totally serious, I do know what it, what it is. But <laughs> I, I, wanted to, I wanted Robert to come and explain this so that we could, we could perhaps experience it with him at the, uh, at the conference. And I hope you're all going. Uh, whoever's listening, do register. It's uh, coming up in February, and we'll have the dates at, in the blog post. But let's listen to Robert. Robert, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, let's jump in. And let me ask you, let me set the stage. You're a wedding photographer, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're a busy guy. I know you. You've just come back from Seattle. Yeah. Uh, you photograph. You photograph widely in in the country and beyond. Uh, why are you I'm so exhausted? You are exhausted. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> why Why are you so interested in in the encaustic process among other projects that you you have? I mean, what is it that about this that really pumps you up? My uh, my <clears throat> excuse me. My original background was in fine art when I started. Oh, and, okay. Um, so for me, to, I'm always kind of looking for something to kind of get me not out of the world of weddings, but you do so many weddings and, you know, there's, there's certain protocols that you follow from mm -hmm. week to week. And so it's refreshing for me to do something completely different that kind of brings me back to my art roots and essentially lets me kind of fiddle around with a photo and create something completely different. Each is unique uh, and it just gives me... The opportunity to kind of express myself in a different way. Um, I will say that my my initial interest in it started because I, if you've ever seen my work, this I kind of go for like sort of a kind of an antique kind of look sometimes, or a little retro sort of effect. Uh, not on everything, but on a lot of my images. And the first time I ever saw one of these was actually at Photo uh, Plus Expo or Photo Expo Plus, whatever they call it. Um, and I was like, wow, that is super cool because it just looked like this old, like like something somebody found somewhere and hung it up because it looked so cool, but it was really old. Like I just love the, the feeling it had. Um, so that's what drew it, uh, me to it initially. Awesome. So this is, a, this is something you've learned just recently? Uh, I've been doing this for the last, I'd say, four years, maybe five years or so. I actually, I actually learned it going to a workshop in Mississippi uh, uh, Will Jacks uh, uh, does a workshop, uh, 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 Rebirth, uh, with Chris Williams and a bunch of other folks. And so they, one of the reasons I wanted to go was this was one of the topics being covered. So I got myself down to Mississippi and learned some things. I've been doing it ever since. So Fantastic. Well, that's, yeah. that's great to, lear to learn that you can learn these, these techniques from other photographers is, is phenomenal. It's great. Um, yeah. But you were inspired at Photo Plus, and then you yeah. said, I'm going to learn more about it, and yeah. then went down to it took, it took a few years, to be honest, like, but it was one of those little nuggets that stuck in my head, like, that's really cool. I have to figure out how they did that. Tell me about the, the, uh, the end result of the, the process. Is this something that you sell? Is it something just for yourself? Is the process itself something that you just go, wow, I'm going to be just so far removed from wedding photography that I'm, it's, it's a, it's a sort of a, a release for you in a way. It's a little, it's a little of each. Uh, okay. it's, it's a release because I'm down in my basement with melted wax, just kind of playing around and I kind of get lost and, you know, two hours go by and suddenly and you think, Oh God, I'm still down here, you know, breathing in fumes, not good. But, um, the, the other aspect is I have been trying to sell it to couples, um, as, as really what it is, is a one-of-a-kind sort mm -hmm. of artistic piece that you really don't know what it's going to look like when you start. You, 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 it's like painting, really. You, you start applying things, and sometimes I'll add uh, oil paint sticks. Uh, recently, I actually have a sample. Recently, I uh, 
experimented with uh, a Xerox transfer. So I literally went to the library and made a photocopy of the photo I used. It's kind of hard to see exactly the texture here. Uh, but this is a photo transferred on top of a photo on the wax, which is just something else I decided to try. And uh, so it's it. The thing about this, though, is you don't really know exactly what it's going to look like. So the couples who buy it, yeah. I think, are great because they're like, "Yeah, we want something that's really cool and one of a kind." Yeah, let's get one. Right. So they're taking a chance on oh, yeah. whatever they're they're signing up for. They're, they yeah. don't they have no idea what they're getting. Um, and you are. No. You're making these uh, one at a time. I mean, how, yeah. do, you, do you work in a, in a way that I'm trying to understand the process? I mean, do you have right. one image and and then you sort of go through the process all the way through, or do you have multiple images you, all going through several different stages? You of the can, process? It depends really on how much space you have because you need a, a fair amount of room because you're dealing with hot wax, and so when you're when you're applying it to the awesome. the the print essentially gets mounted to a board, uh, and so you need the space to have some of the wax perhaps drip off, and so you. Usually, I can maybe work at two to three maximum at once, but awesome. frequently when it's just something for me, uh, it's just the one image I'm kind of like, you know, poking around at. You know, I'll leave it for a few days or a week or two, go back. And actually, some of the process, which can really add to the time if you get involved with oil paint sticks, which is basically compressed oil paint in stick form, um, it can uh, lend a very interesting antique kind of look to it, but like any oil paint, you have to give it time to dry. So it really kind of slows you down because you can't just whip through it and, you know, I remember a couple of years ago at Inspire, we did this and everyone was like, I, I want to do more, I want to do this. I'm like, this the wax has to cool, you have to give it, <laughs> wait a minute, calm down. So it, slow, it purposely sort of slows you down too, awesome. which, is, which I think is good. Well, it, it, this is sort of the perfect thing to learn in the so-called off-season, in a way, right? You really are out there, uh, you know, oh, look, yeah. looking for something to do, and you want to take your mind off of the wedding business for a little bit. This is yes. like the perfect, almost yeah. antidote to the the blues that you feel uh, at the end of the season, where you're going, "Oh, I wish I could do something else." But it is, it is because it slows you down. Yeah, and because really. Um, you really just feel like you're working on one thing at your own pace. You know, so, so much of weddings is kind of like, do it fast, do it now, we got to run. You know, This is like, oh, you know, I have an hour today. I'm going to go downstairs and work on this some more. Like I think you would a painting or drawing or something, perhaps. Absolutely. At least that's how I used to do it years back when I actually did that sort of stuff. Uh, let's circle back to, the, to Inspire. You're bringing yeah. this, this, I guess, this program, this uh, workshop, Yep. to inspire uh, to folks who are signing up for your workshop yeah. at inspire they better uh, they, uh, you know right exactly after all this <laughs> my goodness <laughs> um let's talk about the, the the length of the the workshop is it an entire day that you're it's, dedicating uh, it to four hours four hours okay are you Which, are, are you compressing things a little bit or it's a little compressed okay. uh but it's basically Four hours, you know, if we have 15, 20 people, you know, basically everyone in that time, once they get, it's kind of really fun. It's, it's, everyone gets to leave with a finished piece, which oh, is, great. I, the, the unique thing about this is it's, it isn't me standing there telling you what to do. I mean, a little bit at the beginning, but it's, I call it arts and crafts class because it's just great seeing all these adults suddenly sitting down going, whoa, this is so cool. And Robert, Robert, is this, am I doing this right? Or, you know, uh, and they just kind of go into their own little world and do it. And so you really do need the time because there's some steps that we kind of go through initially just to get everybody situated as to safety procedures and that sort of thing and all the tools that you might need. But once we actually get into it, it's basically them playing and, and fiddling around and having a great time. And, and it was great last time because to see everybody at lunch with their pieces going, you, you made that? What class was that? Which was really cool awesome. for me. I didn't know everyone was going to get that excited. It was great. Excellent, excellent. Um, uh, the last question for you, Robert, is this, is that what has inspired you to go to Inspire? You've been there many times before. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I'll, sure, proximity is a great thing. You're in, you're in Trumbull, Connecticut, yeah. and uh, Newport, Rhode Island isn't that far away, so no. it's an easy hop. But why would you... Say I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my three days in at Inspire. What is it that drives you to Inspire? I think it, for me it actually goes back to their initial uh, concept of the whole thing, which was uh, 
not not to say anything against other large conferences, but a lot of bigger conferences don't afford you a personal one-on-one, -on -one. and this one does. And uh, I've always really liked that. I've, I like the fact that so much time is devoted to mentoring. You know, when you teach a class, part of what you you can do is sign up to be a mentor. Uh, this year, we're doing uh, some. Um, I think they're calling them dinner dinner parties or dinner meetings. So supper I, clubs, or supper clubs, supper clubs. So I've signed up for one of those, Excellent. Which, which would be great. So it, there's, it's the intimacy of it, and just being able to really sit down with your peers of all levels, um, and just kind of connect and sort of slow down and talk and and just see where everybody's head is at. And um, uh, I remember last time it was actually it was it was. Very sweet. There was this girl who who shall remain nameless, who was having a really difficult time with a photographer uh, in her area, who was kind of giving her some nonsense, saying you're not good enough, you know this that. And her work was amazing. And so we had this little mentoring session, and she practically started crying because I told her, you know, this. And I, you know, I was being honest. What she had was beautiful work. Um, so that that was really important to me, like to be able to not just um, not just encourage somebody for the sake of encouraging, but to really say, hey, this is really cool what you're doing. And, you know, well, this maybe you could improve this way or that way. But I love that. I just think it's 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 important for me and for them, I think. Awesome. Great. Robert, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And, uh, you know, running into you uh, as randomly as I as I did in New York Weeks. City <laughs> That's right. that the other day uh, was great. I uh, would love to do that again. Um and I look forward to hanging out with you at Inspire, man. You know, I think it'll yeah. be fantastic to see you yeah. there. You gonna take my class? You, you're, <laughs> you're putting me on the spot now, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Let's put it that you way. You see the finished piece. You're gonna, you're gonna wish you did. <laughs> I, I sure hope I can. You can sign stop up. by Absolutely. someday, and I'll give you a one-on-one. -on -one. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Robert. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.